Hello, good afternoon. A widespread frost and some icy stretches overnight tonight because, yes, we did see that stream of showers along that northwesterly, getting some moisture from the Irish Sea and falling as sleet and snow during the course of this morning. Still a few in the mix as we head into the afternoon, but tending to fade out. And most of the blue you can see on our maps indicating frosty conditions. Temperatures already struggling today. And as those showers ease this evening overnight, it becomes dry, clear, and blue, a widespread frost, maybe even some fog patches into the early hours and lows, possibly lower than minus four, minus five Celsius. So frosty and potentially icy first thing tomorrow morning, maybe even a little bit of snow nudging in from the south, but for most of us dry, but bitterly cold. Yes. Hello, good evening. The cold weather continues across the northwest as we head deeper into tonight. A very wintry start first thing this morning. Those sleet and snow showers even at lower levels for a time, causing some difficult widespread frost expected icy stretches where we've seen those showers earlier today. And of course, the standing water where we've had a lot of rain earlier in the week. We stay in the cold air for Monday and Tuesday, although most parts of the northwest should be dry. And the good news in terms of flooding is that the wetter, windier conditions expected on Wednesday are now not coming till the end of the day into Thursday so they are delayed by about 24 hours at this stage so overnight tonight few showers over the next few hours along that northwesterly but then becoming mostly dry clear and cold a widespread hard frost with temperatures sub-zero across many parts of the region we could even get a minus five celsius by dawn tomorrow the real risk of some icy stretches on untreated surfaces frosty and icy to begin tomorrow but actually hopefully that uh, snow will stay further south giving us a dry and clear and sunny day but really feeling quite cold take care see you soon over the next two or so I think we've said goodbye to most of the snow showers at least for now but frost and ice the main hazard stronger winds but until then overnight tonight the winds are light there'll be some mist and murk in places but mainly dry with clear spells and that widespread hard frost meaning temperatures sub-zero across many parts of the northwest and really quite cold in rural shelter minus five minus six celsius not out of the question so a frosty icy start as we head into Sunday, mostly dry. There is a threat of some snow just about pushing into the south of the region later on Sunday, but we think it will stay further south. So for us, it's dry, it's clear, it's very cold, the wind's light, and the milky blue hues you can see on the chart indicating that some places won't get above freezing for much of the day. There could be one or two showers coming through north to south during the early part of Monday morning. So still the risk of ice, frost, some sunshine by day before it turns more and settled after midweek.